So true strategy is for me is working on golf clubs. Essentially the strategy and the plan is around the working with the association. We sort of plan a strategy for how it's going to be in the benefit for all their members. I'm working with a number of leagues already, um, so the Northern Premier, the Isthmian League and the Southern Leagues. And uh, what we're doing with them is working with the clubs to make them uh, more cost effective with regards to their energy. Um, also, we're helping them uh, engage more with the community, the business community to establish themselves, uh, but also we're looking to reduce their carbon footprint. It's basically account management, being there for, so if they've got any questions, any billing issues, if they've had any sort of conversations regards to um, they've seen something advertised about any renewable projects like solar EV, all these different areas where they just want to pick with brain. What we'll do is we'll just have a, a formal conversation with them, uh, advise them that we've got the, the means to show, to follow up with more areas that they want to sort of help on. Um, but yeah, it's just basically there's the, someone there to chat to. I always take a holistic view on their energy by asking the first question, have you changed to LEDs? That's the immediate solution for them. Then we look at all of the other energy services that they are currently uh, engaged with, and then we look at a plan to step forward. It's all about reducing the cost, but it's more about helping them become more financially uh, viable. All clubs at the moment are suffering with uh, finding extra sponsors and money. They're looking at reducing costs wherever they can. That's based on what we spoke to with all the different associations. So, for example, with a lot of the golf clubs, me being a member, I felt, felt like we had to go that extra mile to help the club financially. Each club have got their own budget. They want to make sure it's in the best interest of the members because of they don't want the cost to increase in different areas. But also as well, they want to make sure that the members are happy and they're not getting uh, year-on-year increases. Regardless of when the club is coming out of contract, what we do is we give an initial price on the current market and just say this is what your potential cost could be. And it gives them a real life sort of idea of like, right, this is where the budget's going to be for energy in 25, 26. So it keeps an eye on the market rather than procuring as and when they get to it so they don't miss any opportunities as well. Helping them engage with the community by opening up networking events. Many of them don't know how to do it. My commitment to the clubs are I want to help them uh, either bring in additional revenue uh, and opportunities through that or cut their costs. So not only, only am I helping them with new business introductions, potentially new sponsors, but I'm also opening the doors for new suppliers as well. I genuinely believe that if we can help a, a business or a club reduce their energy consumptions and costs, they'll stay with us because they'll know the commitments there for them.